Good morning, Huskies, and welcome to Season 17 of Wolf TV. I'm Emma. And I'm Jenna. And we're here with your Haggerty News. This year, our curriculum night will be on Thursday, January 26th. This is an opportunity for parents and students to check out course offerings for next year and meet their teachers. Attention seniors, Grad Bash tickets are now on sale. Grad Bash will be March 31st, and in order to be able to go, you must purchase a ticket on My School Bucks and fill out the permission form attached to the My School Bucks link. You could turn it into Mr. Dishman's room 3113 by February 1st. No late submissions and turning in a permission slips will be accepted. Tickets are on a first come, first serve basis. Stay tuned for promos and sports, and we'll be back. Good morning, Huskies. I'm Daniel Youssef, and I have your sports for today. For basketball, Haggerty Boys Freshman JV and Varsity Host Foundation Academy and Girls Varsity in Deland on Friday in the Tundra. Game times are set for 3.15 p.m., 4.30 p.m., 6 p.m., and 7.30 p.m. for Girls Varsity. For wrestling, Haggerty competes today and tomorrow with the JV at LMHS Friday at, starts at 6 p.m. and the Varsity at Ed Kilpatrick invite Saturday 9 a.m. and the girls at the Lady at the Lady Bear Classic on Saturday at 9:30 a.m. For boys soccer, Haggerty travels to LHHS to face the Silver Hawks on Friday at 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. In girls basketball, the Huskies cruised past Winter Springs in a close 65-29 to win. In girls soccer, the Huskies fall to Marriott Island in a, a close 2-0 to zero match. Good luck to all the teams competing this weekend. That does it for sports today. Now stay tuned for promos. This year, our curriculum night will be held on Thursday, January 26th. This is an opportunity for parents and students to check out course offerings for next year and meet their teachers. So, come to our curriculum night. The senior class will be hosting a spirit night at Stacks Brownies next Wednesday, January 18th. The spirit night is all day from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. You must mention Haggerty when checking out. Hey guys, I really wanted a snack, but it's out of order. <laughs> Do you have an announcement that you want to air on the news? Do you want us to make a promo for your group or event? Then email TV production. The link will be on your screen. Um, <laughs> we <laughs> must... <laughs> The new Student Bright Futures Volunteer Service and Paid Work Guidelines and Service Plans are now available. Forms have been posted on the Haggerty High School website, Student Services Canvas page, and can now be picked up in both student service offices. Seniors, remember, you must submit your forms no later than May 1st. Hey Huskies, there's a food pantry in the front office and you need to bring in food. So, help people. Because the food pantry needs your help. So, bring in non-perishable non foods like protein bars, chips, um, like cans, um, jelly, peanut butter, stuff like that, and single serving stuff like ramen noodles, um, microwave mac and cheese, just, you know, stuff that you can give to people that, that doesn't take a long time to cook maybe, I don't know. This Buddy's yearbook is canceled, so we will be doing it during Emmer Best Buddy's event, January 27th. Attention seniors, Grad Bash tickets are now on sale. Grad Bash will be in March 31st. In order to be able to go, you must purchase a ticket on My School Box and fill out the permission form attached to this My School Box link. Turn it into Mr. Dishman's room, room 3113, by February 1st. No late submissions will be accepted of the permission slips. Tickets are now on a first come, first serve basis. And we're back, Huskies. Huskies, have you lost or misplaced anything at the school? Well, the lost and found may have it. There's a lost and found for large objects in the cafeteria and smaller objects in the front desk. For more important items like AirPods or jewelry, you should notify the front desk and they'll help you out. I just got a call from Stax Brownies because the senior class will be hosting a spirit night next Wednesday, January 18th. Spirit night is all day from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. and you must mention Haggerty when checking out. Do you have an announcement that you want to air on the news? Email HaggertyTVProduction14 at gmail.com. That's it for Wolf TV today. From all of us here in the Wolf TV newsroom, have a good day. And as always, Go Huskies! Huskies, I need to talk to you about this movie. I need Megan. M3 Gen. I, this, this movie should have to pay you. 
This movie should have to pay you to watch it. Don't go to the theater and spend twenty dollars to watch this movie. You could, you could wait till it's on streaming services and you could steal it. Um, but listen, listen to me. This movie, if you looked at me right now, Huskies, and you said this movie was written by a blind monkey, I would say. Well, that explains it. Well, all right then. Well, then, th well, I think I gave this movie too hard of a shake. Listen to me. The movie is about this girl, and her parents are dead. And she is sad, because her parents are dead, obviously. What, are you crazy? And so, she's really sad, and then her aunt has to take care of her. And she's like, I'm gonna give you this doll, and its name is Megan, and it's gonna make you feel all better. And then she, like, gets, like, too attached to the doll, and then the doll starts killing people, and it's like, okay. And this movie, first of all, the plot is just the the new child's play movie you know the one that came out a few years ago that was about chucky but he's like a robot instead of a possessed doll they did it again but it's a girl that's the whole movie the only difference is that her parents are dead uh, the lead actress if again if you looked at me and you said they went outside they they lost their lead actress midway through filming and they went outside and they were like you and they just pointed at a random woman i would believe you i would believe you but she was being murdered she was being murdered and the best she could do was megan don't megan please millions of dollars spent on this movie huskies millions of them thousands and millions of dollars spent so that i could go in a movie theater there's no, like, big finale. Like, it like it leads you to think that there's going to be this big finale. Like, the whole movie's, like, building up to this thing. Doesn't happen. The climax is in the lady's house. I'm so upset I have to leave now. Thank you very much. <laughs>